Hey, my name is Andy. The Andy shit, we bought a limousine. We bought a fucking limo. The other day, Matt and I were driving for hours. We broke down. We broke down. And Impulse bought this because that was our only option to get home. Yes, basically, what we ended up with, a limousine. A fucking limo. Look at this thing. I'm gonna show you guys around this amazing purchase in three, two, one. It is a 1981 Mercedes something. 380. SEL, long wheelbase one. For the low, low price of. $3,000. Yes, $3,000. <laughs> this limo was quite cheap for a reason. One yeah. of those reasons being rust. Well, it's a little bit. It has a little bit of rust. Here. And here. And here. There. Here. And here. A little bit there. And here. And here. 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 And there. So, you might be thinking at this point, well, why did you guys buy a limousine? It's cliche, but why the fuck not? When Matt hits you up and he says, mate, I've found a limousine, you don't say no. You go, yes, absolutely. The amazing thing is, when you buy a limousine for $3,000, you get things like stylish rear spoilers. Two sunroofs, one of which doesn't really close, but that's all right. We'll, we'll gloss over that. We won't worry about yeah. that. This is used to put wedding ribbons on. However, this is not a factory item. This is in fact a door handle for a cabinet. Stylish, nice little lights there and there. Um, that one I think you have to bang to turn on, but yeah. Let's show the lovely ladies and gentlemen. We just go down to our little control panel here. It's a little bit like Kit from Night Rider. Lights. Ooh. Oh. If you had this car in the limo, not only did you have a car that cost more than a house, you had that stretched. Who doesn't like stretched? <laughs> See, it is about length in this case. Because it doesn't matter. When they say size doesn't matter, they're it, lying. They're lying. It does matter. Yes, this is the right size so you can park it on the street. This is registered <laughs> as a normal car. I think the, the coolest thing about this limousine is the fact that it is so 80s. Let me show you what I mean. Starting with probably my favorite thing, the cassette player. There were two choices of music in this car. There was Frank Sinatra, or Big Bang Super Dance 1998. I'm thinking, let's put on some Big Bang. You're back here, you got your Big Bang or Frank on, and what do you want? Well, if you're having a Big Bang, you're gonna be wanting a big beer. So you can have that, or if you've got Frank, I think a quiet little bit of whiskey might do the trick. It doesn't really matter. You've got either or in this car. There's plenty of glasses. There's actually more glass holders than there are seats. So not only could you double park yourself, you can actually probably quadruple park yourself. You can put up your little divider like that. No one's going to know. It's just between you and me. Big bang. Think about all of the celebrities and interesting people that have been in it. Not to mention the mountain of drugs that are probably being consumed in here as well. Well, if you look in here, there's actually white powder. There is two! The roof line of this car is, let's say, less than ideal because I guess the cigars someone was smoking was less than ideal. Not only is the roof destroyed by cigars and cigarettes, the roof has also collapsed and now my head is, has become part of it. But to compensate, it's okay. The seats are entirely destroyed. Ready? Fine? Not fine. Another great part of owning a limousine is that you get to live out all the Wolf of Wall Street fantasies that you have. This car has, I think it's pneumatic door locks. And because it's so long, you can hear the air traveling when you lock it. One of the coolest things about 80s cars, like this Merc and like Fred is, come with me, is that the headlights are actual glass. Now there is a really easy way to be able to tell that this is glass. You can do the fingernail test, but I like to do something a little bit more advanced. Now that is definitely glass. You can taste it. And if you have a car with glass headlights, I recommend you give it a go. So when you're driving around and someone might be a little bit confused that you're driving what was once worth the price of a house, you have a badge on the side, just sort of the map. You've got two badges, you've got a bunch of lights, and not to mention the chrome. There is chrome everywhere. There is chrome here, here. Even the wheel arches have chrome. Now these wheel arches are great because they serve two purposes. A, they're nice and stylish and chromey, but B, they also fill up with water and then rust. So if your car is in really good condition, you're like, do you know what? How can I make it a little bit shitter? 
put some chrome wheel latches on because the water likes to get trapped right in there and just rust it completely. Look how many spokes this car has. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Nobody cares how many spokes your wheel has. I what they like want to know. Twenty spokes. Uh, uh, what they want to know is can you fit a six foot four person in the boot of a Mercedes limo? Take, oh, take, know. Okay. take this, just, just take that. This is a reasonably sized boot. I am six foot four. Can I fit in this boot? Let's find out. Actually, do you know what? This is mob boss approved. There is plenty of room in here. You could probably fit two. There's room for another body. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Now that you guys have seen all of the quirks and features, and yes, we've stolen that from Doug DeMuro, the quirks and features of the limousine, we're gonna go take it out for a drive. Who's driving? Um, oh yeah. Hey, nah, but you're driving. Go on, you drive. Let's... I was scissors, dude. You were paper. I was fucking scissors. You know what you are? Let's go. How many times in your life do you get to say, I bought a limo? At least once in our lives. Like, mm. No problem. How many caves has she done, mate? 456,905 showing a approximated 500,000 because the odometer doesn't work anymore. It's done a few caves. It's low mileage. Oh, yes. It's got two sunroofs and at least one of them works. <laughs> That's oh, right. Oh, 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 sorry, oh, sorry. oh, fuck. Right now, this is a totally normal car. Except when you look in the mirror, everything's just a little bit too far away. You're 100% right. Looking this way, you're like, oh, it's just a normal car. Then you look behind you and you're like, what is smell? this? What is this? Moments later. So this is the McDonald's segment part of the video where we see if this thing can go through a drive through And at this time of the day, oh, shit, we yeah. might cause a fucking traffic. I'm thinking yeah. like, what if you get it stuck? Dude, it is so long. It's the moment of truth. Will it make it round the corner? Holy. Hey, how are you going? Did you get some coins today? It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Thank you. I guess that does answer the question. Does a limousine fit through a McDonald's? It does. It does. And with that, let's go. Maccas is one thing, but I think we need to step it up. Let's see how it goes in a multi-story car park. Like here. Like here. I think we've bitten off more than we can chew on this. No. No. No way. Oh. No way. Can we even get it in this part? No way. No, no way. way. Holy. Wait, we're holding up traffic? <laughs> Not the reverse. <laughs> Look at it! This is a Mercedes you're doing that to. Let's see how his park went. Get out, let's see how you parked. All right, I would say, you know, not too bad. It's a long walk, isn't it? It kind of does hang out a bit, but it's good. Oh my God, dude, I don't reckon it's gonna fit. Holy dude, that, no way you've done it. Now the question we always get asked, actually, I don't think anyone's ever asked it. Yeah. But, can you drift a limousine? We're gonna answer that right now. Go on then, let's see. Oh my God, that worked too well. It wasn't exactly a drift, but that was not a bad burnout. Holy shit. I can smell brake dust. Yeah. Dude. That worked too well. It's not exactly a drift, but it's most definitely a burnout. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Let us know in the comments what you want us to do with this car. Like photo ideas, video idea. I want photo ideas. Absolutely. Let us know. I'm curious as well. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, stay tuned. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. This car has downforce and plenty of it. That is not downforce. That's lift, actually. If anything, that's style.